Welcome back, True Seeker. Just a heads up, I plan on doing at least a couple live streams today, pounding some payment here in Yakima again. I'm going to be on the busiest corner in town as I've been on in recent days. And also on Wednesday, they opened up the vaccination site for the city. So I'm going to go by that with my signs as well and see if I can persuade some people to think twice about getting the old jab. And um, yeah, just wanted to give you that heads up. So look for those live streams later today. I'll probably go to the jab site earlier because I suspect it'll have a line of cars all day. And then as it gets later in the afternoon, I think I'll head over to the busy intersection as people get off work. So look for those live streams. They will be on this channel. And also, I just want to talk about one other thing. I think a lot of people might be feeling lower and lower by the day. I used to live in Bothell, Washington, and I've told you this before. I lived next to two sisters who were twins who were inseparable. And um, I I've kept in contact with them the whole time I've lived here. But normally when they call, they just talk for five or ten minutes at a time. But yesterday, the sister who's more talkative between the two, she called and she just needed someone to listen to her. And I mean, she was on the phone for over an hour. I've never talked to her in my life for more than an hour straight, even when we were neighbors. Well, maybe when we were neighbors once, but again, normally it's not like that because normally she's busy working. She has a bunch of animals. They, they, they were the kind of couple that always had, um, took on, you know, stray animals and people who didn't want their pets anymore. They, they were busy, very friendly people who loved animals, just really sweet people. But anyway, the, the sister called me and she just let me know how low she's doing or how, you know, just how low she feels lately with just all the isolation and she lost her job, and she got a new job, but the new job has a lot of younger people. Keep in mind, she's a, she's close to 60 years old now, this woman. But um, And she just feels that people are becoming less friendly, and so many people are just so rude to her each day. But then also, these sisters, they, they share a car, and their car, I don't know what year it's from, it's probably from the early 80s. It's an old Chevy, it's silver, it's never been painted again, it's rusted over in a lot of spots. But it runs, and it's the car they've always used. This is the same couple who picked me up in the j from jail March 7th, 2015. This is the exact car they picked me up in. But um, if I just if I said the year wrong, March 7th, 2015, that was the that was the day I was arrested. They picked me up from jail that day, came and bailed me out. But um, Anyway, she said in, in recent weeks, when she's been driving back from her new job, which is in Bellevue, which is in Swanky Town, she said just in the last three months that she's been working this new job, she's been pulled over six times because she works a late shift, so she gets off late at night, and the police are seeing this older car drive through this fancy town where there's you know $100,000 vehicles everywhere and big money everywhere, and they keep pulling her over and harassing her. Anyway, she just feels like the whole world's just piling up on her. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who feel just like that at this exact moment. Again, if you guys are depressed, you know, if you feel low, the best things you can do to feel better. Eat well, exercise, go on walks. Those things are all important. And... um what I do know about these sweet twin sisters that I live next to is they were not fitness oriented. They were not health food oriented. They were very cigarette oriented, which is okay. I'm not putting any of it down. But again, those things will not help your mood ultimately. Eating well, exercising, and as hard as it is, maintaining a positive outlook or you know some beacon of hope, those things are. And um yeah, it, it was just, it, it was sad to hear that they're going through such a tough time. But again, just hearing that from her just reminded me that so are a lot of people. And um, again, so keep your chin up, True Seeker. And uh, again, over here, we're going to try keep trying to do things that uh, bring positivity into people's lives. And um, also today, might very well get out and uh, find a homeless person who wants to hold a positive sign. So... All that coming and more. And uh, stay tuned to this channel. And remember, just stay positive. Because it is hard times. But what's that phrase again? Something about um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So, got to be that way, true seeker. All right. 
Till next time.